Hi friends, you are watching the world's smallest D species and to be very right, this is not a D species, it belongs to a different family called as Chevotrain, but as it looks similar to deer, it's called as the smallest deer in the world or mouse deer or Chevotrain. In Tamil, it's called as Surukumon or Suttimon. And this is Joel John J YouTube channel. Press the thumbs up icon, subscribe, wait for the bell symbol, press it, enable all notification, share your comments on the comment below, and ask your friends share this with your social media. Ask your friends to like, share, and comment. And now we'll be getting into the details of this animal. Chevro trains or mouse deer or small even toed winglets that are superficially similar but not nearly close related taxonomy of the D species. These mammals make up the family Tringulidae, the only extant member of the info order of Tringlina. As of now, there are 10 extant species are placed in three genera, but several species also are known only from fossils, that is the dead and buried animals, which are taken as fossils. To know about this animal, this grows on an average for about 12 inches. Chevro trains are shy, solitary, evening and night active vegetarians. And uh, this is about some 30 centimeters, that's 12 inch tall at the shoulder and characteristically walk on the hoof tips of their slender legs. Taxonomy. The extant species are found in forest in South and Southeast Asia with a single species. The water chevro train is in the rainforest of Central and West Africa. Pregnancy. The mouse deer that's chevro train can breed at any time of the year. The gestation period is usually four and a half months. Breeding female produces one fawn. The young or preconian when born and can stand up within 30 minutes of birth. Now is mouse deer a deer or a mouse? Mouse deer has given birth to an itini bitty baby. Uh, the mouse deers are one of the smallest hoofed animal species. They are not really deers at all, but belong to their own unique family of hoofed mammals. Hoof means uh, their uh, leg uh, ending part that which touches on the floor will be like that of a horse. Why are mouse deer endangered? The mouse deer are hunted and become an endangered condition. In, uh, it is also because of the destruction and shrinking of forest areas. It can be losing its number and survival because it is easily hunted by the wild animals and man. It is also a very sensitive type of creature. As you can see how happily they are running now. As they are in captivity, they are being safe. And uh, to prevent these kinds of creatures, we have to avoid deforestation or destruction and shrinking of forests, grow more trees, and uh, trees which give flowers and fruit so that a lot of you know, living creatures will start generating from that. And if you look like, how long does a uh, mouse deer live? In captive, the deer mice can live as long as 8 years. However, in wild, its life expectancy is much shorter less than a year because as I told this is a very easy prey for their predators and you can see the notes on the board you can if you want you can stop and enlarge and take notes of that what does chevotrain eat this species is primarily herbivorous feeding on leaves fruits and buds of trees and shrubs it is occasionally been observed eating insects and even small mammals like many herbivorous the water Chevotrain, that small deer, has various adaptation in facilitative, effective digestion of its low nutrient diet. So, 
Now we have seen about this animal. Now we are seeing three of the small mouse deer and now four. They are moving together and grassing the grasses. And this is really a very beautiful animal. And this is the first time I am seeing this. And even though it's not from the deer family, it's uh, kind of uh, herbivorous that matches. Only when they scientifically classify, this doesn't come within the deer family. But these are really, really cute creatures. I was very much impressed on seeing them. So small and uh, with the same beauty of uh, deer, it looks. And those who want to thank me or uh, support this channel financially will have a hot symbol and thanks below the video. That's for one time contribution. If you click on that, the contribution amount will be displayed. And you can select the contribution and using any of the payment methods given there, you can make a one time payment to support this channel. Also, those who are financially sound and feels that you can give a monthly con contribution, this is only for richy rich people. Because every month uh, money will be taken from your account. So, if you are richy rich and if you think that you can support, and this is also another set of uh, the same creatures on the other side. They have a different one. Cage and the same species are kept in. Those are very financially sound. You can cl click the join option and select any one of the option and give me a monthly financial contribution. The more support everyone can do is press the thumbs up, press the share icon, and share this video on all your social media. Talk about these kinds of different different animals with your friends. Talk about nature and I have lots of other more different different types of videos. You can watch all those by clicking on my photo or searching as Joel John J, that is my channel name, on the YouTube search box, you will get my channel, you can click on my photo, go to videos, and there are a lot of fish videos, a lot of different, different animal videos, you can watch all those, and there are also a lot of my own speeches are there, and I have spoken on various interview preparation topics as well, which will be helpful for you, you can watch those as well, and on the end screen, I will be giving some of the playlist, you can click on that playlist, which pops up on the end screen, there will be four boxes on the screen, be popping if you click on that you will see all the videos on that playlist and also on the cards you will be seeing an eye symbol and uh, some text running on the top or uh, right uh, on the screen so if you click on that it will display a set of videos and playlists you can also click on that and select your videos or if you click on my photo or select such as Joel Janji and click my photo and enter into my channel you will have the channel display page then you will have the videos tab and playlist on those two you can click and see Lots and lots of videos. And this is now drinking water. The beauty of animals drinking water or feeding is really, really, you know, mind blowing. I love this. I love to see that. But unfortunately, you know, something hydrated. And now when I move the cap, it's again stopped. Oh, now it's going to drink. We can see the beauty. See how beautifully it's uh, drinking water. It's really, really attractive. Very tiny sips it's taking. It's just tiny animal, right? So it's taking tiny sips. This one is taking rest on the grassland and another one great person taking rest. They are evening and night active animals and it's almost afternoon time now. But still they are active. It's really a good time or a good uh, you know occasion for us. One animal is active on, on that side all fours were active. But now he is eating the grass, feeding on the grass. These grasses are called as cattle field grasses. I used to have this on my previous home and in my current residence also I have that but uh, it's very less in number. And now my cats are not feeding on this preferentially but they are feeding on the root of the Kuppamini plant. I would have posted those videos also on my own YouTube channel. If you scroll down clicking on the videos you will find. They will be playing, they will be eating that and lots of things the way my cats do. Even though we cannot have all these animals, we uh, most of us have dogs or cats as pet. Dog videos I don't have, but a lot of cats video I have, whereas I don't have a dog. And this is feeling so cute on the grasses. See how it's, uh, you know, chewing the grass. These cattle field grasses are one of the favorite grasses for cows, uh, you know, all the animals. Even cats like to, you know, feed on this. They usually used to bite something and then vomit. Kind of thing like, you know, as we refresh, brush our teeth, they do that activity with these grass. And also some other type of long grasses also they use. 
but this was something they do it favoritely. These uh, animals, they feed on rather than as being herbivorous, they eat that. See how beautifully it's eating. Okay friends, it's time to say bye. And we have few more time and soon you will have the pop-up of, uh, you know, and you can click on this, stop the video and take notes about this, uh, you know, animal, this boar stone. English and Tamil it has been given, even though it's an least concern. You know, when I read the notes, they are saying that this animal is being, getting endangered now. So we have to be very careful about that. See, this is moving here and there. Okay friends, it's time to say bye. Joey Jonji signing off from you. Bye.